Hey everyone, Eamon here, back with Legend of Korra, episode 3 and 4. Yeah, so we, we started the series up a few days ago. Really good start. Um, yeah, the art style is really cool. Um, looked really refreshed. Um, and yeah, the universe was kind of... Um, yeah, it was like surprisingly like futuristic, I guess would be the word, which, yeah, I think I mentioned it in my reaction, but yeah, it may, makes sense that the world kind of went through like a technological advancement with, um, with Toph, obviously, being the, with the metal bending, that'd be a huge deal to, to, to like the world. And then I guess maybe Wild Guess, but Sokka might have been instrumental in that as well. Maybe he, maybe once the war ended, he became like an inventor or something. Um, because I know he was pretty good at like creating stuff, so maybe he had a big, big, uh, big impact, I guess, on that. Um, but yeah, obviously, Toph, Toph invented metal bending, so she was, yeah, huge, huge deal for building that city. Um, we saw her statues up there and everything, so yeah, definitely, definitely a revolutionary, uh, character, yeah. Um, but yeah, so what did we, what did we learn? We saw, um, Korra, Korra, obviously, she, she was like a little tiny kid when she was learning how to not even learning she just like knew how to like bend all the elements except for air which she still doesn't know how to do so that's yeah that's really cool um yeah because even even ang didn't do that until he was trained like she was just like self-taught or self self-taught basically so yeah, i guess she has the potential to be like like one of the most powerful like i don't i don't think i know too much lore about the other past avatars but yeah knowing how to earth water and uh firebend when you're like six years old is kind of insane so yeah i guess the sky's the limit for her but yeah what, what else do i need to touch on the intro here um yeah the the amon character really cool really cool character i yeah i i think i know what the plot's gonna be for for him um the whole like benders versus non-benders and like how benders are using their powers for evil and the world could be better without them um which is a really cool yeah like I've seen that 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 style of like plotline and other stuff before. I think I, think I mentioned the X Men in in my last video, um, which yeah, that'd be really cool. Especially like yeah, I think you guys mentioned that the show's a bit darker or like on par with like the darkness of the latter seasons of Avatar. So if they go down that route with that plotline, that could be really really interesting to see. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, and then, so yeah, we got, I forget, I forget what the sport's called, but yeah, the fire ferrets, uh, Korra joined them, joined up with them, so that, yeah, that's cool, battle, battle training, basically, she's like gonna, <laughs> using that as practice for the most part, yeah, and then I guess there's, an, there's a love interest too for her, off the rip, um, I don't know, I forget what his, what his name was, but he's one of, one of the fire ferrets with her, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, how old is her? How old is she too? I don't think I actually got that. I don't think I was clarified that. I think she's like sixteen or so, roughly. She looks about that age, as far as you can tell from a cartoon. But yeah, I think I think she's about sixteen. We'll, we'll go with that for now. But she might be a bit older. Yeah, I guess I'm just yeah. I'm curious about who else is going to be alive from the from Avatar. Hoping like a few people pop up in these episodes we watched today, but yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there'll be more and maybe we get some flashbacks or something. Yeah, they'll probably do flashbacks because they're kind of they have they have like like Aang's son and stuff. And one of you guys commented too that the uh, or yeah, Go Godric, Go you you commented Godric that, that uh, Aang and Katara had three kids actually, but we only, we only saw the one I believe. So does that mean that the the other two passed away? Or are they just not airbending masters? Maybe they became waterbenders because they they're like they're kids of air and water, so maybe they were water benders instead. Um, yeah, because yeah, they, they said uh, they said he was a uh, the only airbending master. So I guess they're they're either dead or they they didn't become airbenders, or they didn't become masters somehow. Which yeah, that that could be the case too. But yeah, excited to see them. Uh, who else do we? Yeah, we saw Toph's daughter as well. Um, didn't get confirmation if Toph was alive or not. I'm, I'm going to assume she's alive because I feel like that's too good of a character to to not get to see again with, like, like old lady Toph would just be hilarious. And, uh, yeah, Zuko, don't know where he is. Sokka, don't know where he is. Yeah, I'd assume Zuko isn't around because he wasn't there for the uh, firebending training they, they were doing in episode one. So I'm assuming he's probably passed away. 
if he if he wasn't around for like training. Yeah, and I guess I guess there would be more like uh, like Zuk Zuko's kids. Zuko must have had kids with uh, with uh, May. So yeah, maybe we'll see some of them. L lots of stuff that could happen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how connected they're gonna make it to uh, to to Avatar, but hoping for hoping for more. Hoping for more. Um, yeah, I guess like predictions. I don't I don't really have any predictions. Too early to too early to like predict anything that'll happen. But yeah, you get you guys said there was no filler, so yeah, excited. excited. Hopefully, lot, all predictions at the end of this. I assume if there's no filler, there'll be a, a lot more story pushed forward here. Yeah, so let's just hop into this. The Legend of Korra. A chance encounter turns Korra from pro bending spectator to pro bending star. With mm -hmm. her new teammates Mako and Bolin, the fire fans Mako, earn a place in the was. championship tournament. The love interest but is Mako. But meanwhile, an anti-bending revolution brews in Republic City. Who are the equalists mm -hmm. and what nefarious the plans equalists. does the mysterious man okay. behind the mask have in store for our hero? Book One Air, Chapter Three: The Revelation. What's the big idea with making me train this early in the morning? Where are the rookies, so we get the worst time slot in the gym. There are my little hard-working street urchins. It's an honor to finally meet you, Avatar. And you are? Bootaka. I run this whole pro-bending shebang match. Oh, it's just called pro-bending? Okay. Uh, uh, first, you owe me for the Avatar's new gear. <laughs> Gym and equipment rentals for last month. Rent <laughs> on your apartment. And a personal loan for groceries. Jeez. What? I'm a growing boy. <laughs> and one more small item of business yet. The fire ferrets need to ante up 30,000 yuan for the championship pot. You got till the end of the oh, week to come cool. up with the dough, or else you're out of the tour. I just noticed the, I guess they might have done this just for for Korra, but the, like, the earthbender has, like, pure green eyes. Firebender has, uh, like, orange red eyes, and then Korra has, like, really blue eyes. So, like, I guess they're leading into that for, for Korra, just to, like, kind of make it easier on the viewer to know, like, who's from what, which nation. That's cool. Wouldn't happen to have a secret avatar bank account overflowing with gold, would you? <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I've never really needed money. I've always had people taking care of me. Well, then I wouldn't say you have nothing. Sorry, I <laughs> didn't mean... No, it's all right. It's just... Troubled past. Ever since we lost our parents, we've been on our own. I'm oh, so they're brothers. Sorry. I didn't realize they were brothers. I, I must have missed so, that last anyway, episode. How are we going to come up with the money? Oh, oh, I've been training Pabu to do circus tricks. Now people <laughs> would pay good money to see that. Come on, Bolin. We need serious. <laughs> oh no, that's Bolin. Okay. Maka's the other guy. Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. I always do. <laughs> come one, come all. See Pabu the fantastic fire ferret as he crosses the ladder of peril. <gasps> Upside down. <laughs> Big finish, buddy. Stick the landing. Ta da! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you are too kind. Seriously, too kind. You can come back here and put money right in this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> One you on down. Twenty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine to go. <laughs> hey, Bolin, is that you? Oh, hey there, Shady Shin. <laughs> Another You're pro a bender. Time pro bending player now. Not no, bad. Maybe not. Uh, Just a rich thanks. guy. So listen. Lightning Bolt Zolt is looking to hire some extra muscle. Uh, okay, it's another game. I don't know, Shin. Mako told me to stay away from the triple threats. <sighs> Your brother ain't triple the boss threats. of you. It's just a little security work. Nothing crooked. Yeah, so the triple threats are like water, earth, and fire banners that, that come together as like gangs. They're like gangs of avatars, kind of, just without, without uh, airbending. That looks really cool. Yeah, there's like, you say use their firebending to like weld and stuff. That's awesome. Or Bo, use for electricity maybe. Actually, Pick up your favorite dumplings. Hey, I found some work down at the power plant. I made some decent money. Yeah, power plant. Okay. Bolin, you here, bro? It's a really sick apartment loft. Nice. Ooh, he's cute. <laughs> or is that the handsome firebender boy that drives you crazy? Does he drive you crazy in a bad way? Or does he drive you crazy like you like him? Oh, hey, Mako. 
You seen Bolin? Nice to see you too. <laughs> and no, I haven't seen him since practice. Bolin has a knack for getting into stupid situations. <laughs> I could, uh, help you look for him. Nah, I got it. <laughs> cool guy, let me help you. We can take Naga. Who's Naga? My best friend. <laughs> nice, Naga. Your best friend is a polar bear dog. <laughs> Somehow that makes Polar bear puppy. Sense. We're going polar bear puppy. All dogs are puppies. Well, not here otherwise. <laughs> you guys seen my brother around here today? My memory is a little foggy. Maybe you can help clear it up. <laughs> You're good, Scoochie. <laughs> Scoochie. Shady Shin showed up and flashed some serious cash. Bo took off with him in his hot rod. The triple threats, uh -oh. the red monsoons, the Agni Kais. All the Agni Kais. For something real big. Cool. Now that's all you're getting out of me. What's he talking okay, this about? is a bunch Sounds of gangs. Like a turf war brewing. And Bolin's about to get caught right in the middle of it. Uh oh. The triple threat triad. It beat up some of those yahoos when I got into town. Why would Bolin get tangled up with... Whoa! Whoa. Naga. There's the little ferret guy. That's Pablo. <laughs> No, Naga. Pablo's a friend, not a snack. <laughs> we gotta hurry. It's like Momo and Appa. <laughs> Ooh, it's all trashed. Bolin? You in here? Bolin! There we go. Ooh, what is that? Crazy. What is that? Whoa. Is he like a mask on so he can shoot gas? Whoa. Oh no. Naga. Whoa. They're not benders. Interesting. Oh, they're. Oh, they do the, uh. The chi blocking? The, yeah, the chi blockers. It's a really cool art style. Though. Holy. This looks, yeah, this looks so cool. Oh my god. Let's go! Get him, Naga. <laughs> cool. Okay, that was that was really cool. Really cool. Those guys were chi blockers. The chi blockers, yeah. Amon's henchmen. Amon? <laughs> yeah. He's the leader of the Equalists. What the do they Equalists. Do the I can't believe Bolin got himself into this mess. Mako, we are going to save your brother. I promise you that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the art style during that fight was really cool. It, it was like everything was kind of popping out of the screen almost. And then it was in like a weird... It was almost like like a choppy. The, the, the style they were going for was like choppy, but it lets you, let you see each like frame and like the, the art style of it like really clearly. It was really cool. Ooh, that's cool. Equality now! Equality now! <laughs> No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting a little love triangle between them then. Oh, there's the there's the Waldo guy that Muffin mentioned. <laughs> I found him, found him. <laughs> Jesus. Shut your yapper. Bang. Axe kick. Jeez. Witness the revelation tonight, nine o'clock. Hey! What's going on over there? The avatars are pressing us! Help! <laughs> Let's Interesting, okay. Yeah, what is this revelation gonna be? I bet the information is hidden on here somehow. Look at the backs. There's four different images. Yeah. So it's, it's a map. Cool? It's a map. Of a map. Yeah. Bingo. That must be where it's going down. Interesting. This is the place. <laughs> what are you doing? We'll attract less attention this way. Interesting. What are we going to see in here? Hey. A lot of people hate Avengers. Whoa. That is a lot of people. Keep your eyes out for Bolin. Maybe should I make a prediction right here? Let's see. Revelation. What would the predict what would what would be the a revelation here? Thinking maybe t being able to teach, like, broadly training everyone 
all the non-banners to chi block that could be one thing um a plan to like take the city back i guess maybe and like make it make republic city like a city for non-vendors only um what else could it be the revelation yeah those are the two main things i guess uh it have to it has to be it obviously has to be something where it's like a society without vendors because that's the only way they would feel safe right I don't think it's like feasible for them to like kill everyone obviously so it'd have to be like a, like their goal is to like just rid republic city of of benders yeah we'll go with that we'll go with that Please welcome your hero, mm. interesting Actually, here's another prediction. Amon is going to be a bender that just hates other benders, but he's a bender himself. That'll be that'll be my my little extra prediction there. My quest for equality began many years Ooh, ago. Ooh, his voice is when cool. I was a boy, my family and I lived on a small farm. Okay. We weren't rich, and none of us were benders. This made us very okay. easy to Might be lying, to but we'll see. Bender who extorted my father. One day my father confronted this man. That firebender took my family from me. Then he took my face. Ooh, okay. Forced to hide behind a mask. He burned his face. The only thing bending has brought to the world is suffering. It has been the cause of every war in every mm -hmm. era. But that is about to change. Since the beginning of time, the spirits have acted as guardians of our world, and they have spoken to me. Interesting. They say the Avatar has failed humanity. That is why the spirits have chosen me to usher in a new era of balance. Hmm. They have granted me a power that will make equality a reality. Can he remove bending? The power to yeah. Turn a person's bending Ooh. away. Permanently. That's impossible. There's no way. That's, this guy's insane. Well, it's not impossible because we've seen it happen. Like, yeah, I wonder. Okay, so that's okay. So we're yeah, we're, we're talking about energy bending, which Aang did. So we know it's possible. And then yeah, like one of the spirits or one of the ancient creatures would grant the would be able to grant the ability. So that is possible for him to get that. But yeah, interesting. I wonder who who could which spirit it could be. The only one that really pops into mind would be Ko, because I know Ko doesn't really like the Avatar much. So, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. That's that's crazy. I kind I think I just already <laughs> I totally forgot that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Now for a demonstration, please welcome Lightning Bolt Zolt, leader of the Triple Threat Triad. Jeez. One of the most notorious criminals in Republic City. Ah, fool yourself. <laughs> no. There's Bolin. Wait. Now, in the interest of fairness, I will give Zolt the chance to fight to keep his bending. You're gonna regret doing that, pal. Wild. Yeah, chi block him? No, just to redirect his. Oh yeah, no, he's chi blocking. Him. Whoa. What? What did you do to me? Your fire bending is gone, forever. Interesting. A new era of equality has begun. That is crazy. Yeah, there's the guy again. <laughs> Bolin, you all right? Yes, Mako, I love you. <laughs> ah. Okay, he didn't bend. He just has yeah, lightning sticks, taser sticks. I don't know what you'd call this. 
Jeez, this guy's like insane too. He's like smoking them. I wouldn't count us out just yet. Naga! Let her go. She's the perfect messenger to tell the city of my power. Cool, okay. Yeah, things just got very interesting. My goodness. I was just about to send out a search party. Are you all right? <laughs> I was at an Equalist rally. I saw Amon. What? He can take people's bending away. For good. That's... That's impossible. No. Only the Avatar has ever possessed that. Yeah. But okay, I okay. Him do it. I don't know how Amon has achieved this power. But this means the revolution is more dangerous than ever. No bending yeah. is safe. Yeah, I wonder which spirit it was. He said spirits. All right. Ooh, the music there is really good. Okay. Yes, that was episode three. Got tons of plot info that episode. That was crazy. Um, yeah. So, so Amon has the ability to take Bender's spending away, which is yeah. We've only seen the Avatar do that before, and then I guess as well as the old, the old. Uh, like the the old sea turtle could do or the sea sea no turtle lion turtle lion that's what it was right yeah the turtle lion can do it so and the, he did imply that like really old ancient creatures can do it but yeah i'm on especially especially mentioned uh or specifically mentioned spirits not spirits spirits so like multiple spirits granted him this ability which is yeah that's I gotta assume Ko's involved just because, yeah, that's that's like the one spirit we've seen that's really against uh, him uh, or against the Avatar um, or against, yeah, it, well, he's against the Avatar, not bending in general. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We, it's probably a spirit we haven't met met before. But yeah, so yeah, the whole removing bending, that's actually like a, um, yeah, back to my X-Men comparison. That, that was like a thing that they were doing in... Um, in x-men like the humans were trying to remove the mutants like uh mutations i guess yeah so yeah that, that's definitely a similar plot point but yeah so that's yeah that's hmm yeah i never really thought about that like what what's the actual general like population percentage is that known like how many like is it like 10 percent of the people can can bend or is it less than that more than that i don't know if they ever mentioned that in avatar yeah yeah i'd like to know if anyone has the answer for that 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 isn't like supposed to be a spoiler um because yeah that would definitely put some things in perspective i guess and especially as yeah especially like i feel like it wasn't always bending wasn't always bad but yeah like the wars are all like f like benders fighting each other obviously and then now there's like gangs and stuff in this new city so that's not ideal um yeah, really excited. Let's just let's just hop in the next episode. We'll we'll discuss it more in, at the end of episode four. Be on alert. I like these little intros they they're doing. It's so yeah, it's like a little little news uh, news roll for the for the viewers. Chapter four: The Voice in the Night. Let me pause. Actually, yeah, it reminds me of uh, if anyone's watched the Clone Wars cartoon. It reminds me of the intros in the cartoon there, where it um. And then the Clone Wars, where they they talk in the old timey voice and like just kind of recap or what's been happening. It's cool. Ooh. Is this actually happening or a nightmare? Oh, yeah, I love the yard style on the fronts. Looks so cool. It's a dream. It's a dream. A nightmare. After I take your bending away, you will be nothing. Uh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's all right, Naga. That is a big puppy. There is a madman running around our beloved city. 
We need to create a task force whose sole mission is to find Amon and bring him to justice. Tarlac, I'm inclined to agree with your proposal, but who would even head up such a task force? It would be my honor and <laughs> privilege to accept such a duty. This is just another one of your ploys to gain more power, isn't it? All I'm trying to do is help. Hmm. Forty-two years ago, Republic City was threatened by another dangerous man. Ooh, okay. Yakon. My father wasn't afraid to deal with him head on. Interesting. This is a completely different situation, and how dare you compare yourself to Avatar? <laughs> yeah, like what? Amon is not going to stop with the bending triads. Eventually, he will come for all us benders, mm -hmm. our friends, our families. Vote for this task force, and I will stop Amon before it's too late. Hmm. Yeah, I would vote it. Interesting. Yeah. Still not a fan of that music. <laughs> it feels so out of place to me. Good evening, my fellow equalists. Ooh. This is your leader, Amon. As you have heard, the Republic Council has voted to make me public enemy number one. Proving once again that the bending oppressors of this city will stop at nothing to quash our revolution. But we cannot be stopped. Our numbers grow stronger by the day. The time has come for benders to experience fear. Jeez. Really cool villain. Whoa. Look out! Jeez. So sorry, I didn't see you. How could you not see me? You walked onto the highway. Uh, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I was I I <laughs> wow. I was not going to sleep. Are you okay? Did I hurt you? Oh, I'm such an idiot. My brother hits me harder than that every day in practice. Wait, I, I recognize you. You play for the fire ferrets. <laughs> yeah, that's me. My name's Asami. Let me Asami. You somehow. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, Kwong's Cuisine. I don't have any clothes nice enough for a place that classy. <laughs> I'll take care of that. All you need to do is show up. Interesting, so, okay. It's a date? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Uh, see you tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, so is she an Earth, Earthbender or Earth Nation because she has green eyes? I, I think in, in Avatar it was kind of, that was like kind of the general idea, but it wasn't like, set in stone but it seems like this in this show they they pretty clearly have certain color eyes so i that makes sense to me i hope that's the case and that makes it so much easier just to like follow along with with who who's from what nation and all that um yeah yeah is this gonna it's a setup though this almost feels too good to be true for mako here could be a setup to get to get to lure a bender to get his powers taken but who knows <laughs> We are grateful for this delicious food, for happiness, for compassion, and... I'm not interrupting, am I? Just blatantly are, this buddy. This home, Tarlock. Tarlock. Dinner. Good, because I am absolutely famished. <laughs> Airbenders never turn away a hungry guest, am I right? <sighs> I suppose. <laughs> Wife's not happy. You must be the famous Avatar Korra. I am Councilman Tarlock. Representative from the Northern Water Tribe. Nice to meet you. <coughs> Why do you have three ponytails? And how come you smell like a lady? You're weird. Well, aren't you? <laughs> That's not very nice. Precocious. <laughs> so <laughs> they're all this way. All about your adventures in the papers. <laughs> Infiltrating Amon's rally. Now that took some real initiative. Oh, thanks. I think you're the first authority figure in the city who's happy I'm here. Republic <laughs> City is much better off now that you've arrived. Enough with the flattery, Tarlock. What do you want from Korra? Patience, Tenzin. I'm sure <laughs> to that. As you may have heard, I am assembling a task force, and I want you to join me. Really? What? I need someone who will help me attack Amon directly, and that someone is you. Join your task force? I can't. <laughs> They're both surprised. Is that because she's scared, or because... I must admit, I'm rather yeah. surprised. I thought you'd jump at the chance to help me lead the charge against Amon. Me too. 
<laughs> I came to Republic City to finish my avatar training with Tenzin. Right now, I just need to focus on that. Which is why this opportunity... Okay, I think she's using that as a cop-out. You would get on-the-job experience while performing your avatar duty for the city. Cora gave you her answer. It's time for you to go. <laughs> Very well. But I'm not giving up on you just yet. It has been a pleasure, Avatar Cora. Bye-bye, ponytail man! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I think she was just using it as like opera. I think she's legit scared of, of Amon. Um, yeah, with the nightmares and everything. I think she, yeah, she's. That's why that's, that's what's going on there. Ah, oh, welcome to Kwong's cuisine, Master Marco. Uh, master. Does she own it or something? Jeez. <laughs> the scarf stays. Interesting. As you wish, sir. This way, please. Okay, the scarf is like a part of his look. It must, must, must be meaningful, though. Maybe it's his, one of his parents' such scarves. A big fan. I caught all of your matches this season. All of them? Wow. Hmm. Yeah, the guy's a stalker, maybe? A stalker? Or... Don't be ridiculous. You're amazing. I can't wait to see you play in the tournament. Yeah, well, uh, maybe next year. <sighs> we don't have the cash to ante up for the championship pot. So. It looks like we're out of the running. Mm. Pardon me, Miss Sato. Your main course. Miss Sato? You <laughs> didn't happen to be related to Hiroshi Sato, creator of the Sato Mobile? Yeah. Yep. My dad. Get out of town. <laughs> <I'm> serious. <laughs> you want to meet him? Meet the most successful captain of industry in all of Republic City? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you up on that. Hello, <laughs> 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 Mega. Mega. Oh my hey, god. Well Bolin is hilarious. Your practice this week. Anyway, reason I came by was to give you this. Ta-da! Wow, thanks. What's this for? Uh, oh, I can't remember now. Oh yeah, now I remember. You saved me from Amon. <laughs> that? No big deal. No big deal. Are you serious? I was totally freaking out when he was coming at me with his creepy mask all. I will take away your bending forever. Oh my god, yeah, she's legit terrified. Stuff. I still can't sleep well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delivery for Avatar Cora. What the heck is that? Tarlock sends his compliments and urges oh, you to Tarlock. reconsider his offer. Tell him I haven't changed my mind. <laughs> hmm. Who's this Tarlock guy? Is he bothering you? <laughs> huh? Because I can have a word with him. <laughs> no, it's not like that. He's just some old guy who works with Tenzin on the council. Oh, good. Good, that sounds better. I like that better. <laughs> What do you think of my little operation here? It's very impressive, Mr. Sato. Please call me Hiroshi. So, I understand you're dirt poor. Uh, well, young man, it is nothing to be ashamed of. I too came from humble beginnings. Why, when I was your age. Is this the voice actress? I, I almost think you guys mentioned this to me. I might be totally wrong. Is this the guy that plays. Um... Uh, Ozai in the live action? Is that the same actor? I forget his name. Um, let me look it up. Daniel Day Kim. Yeah, it is him. <laughs> yeah, I thought he. I thought his voice sounded familiar. He kind of looks similar. It looks like an old version of Daniel Day Kim as well, kind of. All right. Glad I picked that up. That's the first time I think I've picked up a voice actor before, so that's cool. I was a mere shoe shiner, and all <laughs> I had to my name was an idea. The Sato Mobile. And I was fortunate enough to meet someone who believed in me. Mm -hmm. He gave me the money I needed to get my idea off the ground. And I built the entire future industry's empire from that mm -hmm. one selfless loan. Dad, stop bragging. Just tell Mako the good news. <laughs> my dad's going to cover your Annie for the championship pot. There's just one catch. You all have to wear the future industry's logo on your uniform. I'll tattoo it on my chest if you want, sir. <laughs> Thank you both so much. I Interesting. My parents will make the most of this opportunity. Okay, so that, yeah, that, 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 I'm thinking there might be something evil with him. Maybe his original backer was like, the person that gave him a loan was like evil. So he's kind of like indebted to like someone bad. And this might be, might end up being bad than being sponsored by, by him. But we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Got a sick car already. Beep beep. Beep beep. 
I see Tarlock's gifts are getting more and more extravagant. Yeah, that guy doesn't know how to take no for an answer. Cora, are you doing all right? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you're not. Why don't you take a break? I'm glad you turned down Tarlock, but I just wanted to make sure your decision was for the right reason. I'm just mm -hmm. really focused on my airbending right now, is all. Right, that's what you said. You know, it's okay to be scared. Yeah. The whole city is frightened by what's been going on. The important thing is to talk about our fears. Yeah. Because if we don't, they can throw us out of balance. Mm -hmm. I'm always here for you if you want to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aang had, had, had the same fears. It doesn't matter how many gifts Tarlock sends, I'm not joining his task force. <laughs> it's not a gift, it's an invitation. To what? Tarlock is throwing a gala in your honor. All of Republic City's movers and shakers will be there. <laughs> the councilman humbly requests your attendance. Is he gonna like announce that she's joining him or something? And may enforce her to join that way? Kind of seems like it. Can't believe this is all for me. So glad you could make it, Avatar Korra. <gasps> Milo, no, that is not a toilet. Oh dear. <laughs> Korra, it is my pleasure <laughs> to introduce Republic City's most famous industrialist, <laughs> Roshi Sato. This is my daughter, <laughs> Asami. It's lovely to meet you. Mako told me so much about you. Really? <laughs> because he hasn't mentioned you at all. How did you two meet? Asami crashed into him on her moped. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> More than fine. Mr. Sato agreed to sponsor our team. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. Terrific. Chief Beifong, I believe you and Avatar Korra have already met. Don't think you're something special. You've done absolutely nothing to deserve this. <laughs> Jeez. Chillin'. Definitely has the same uh, tough, tough shit attitude as Toph. Avatar Korra, you witnessed Amon take away people's spending firsthand. Then why have you refused to join Tarlock's task? Yeah, it's a setup. The Avatar, shouldn't you be going after Amon? You promised to serve this city. Aren't you going back on that promise now? Do you think Propanin is more important than fighting the revolution? How do you think Avatar Aang would have handled this? Are you afraid of Amon? I'm not afraid of anybody. If the city needs me, then I'll join Tarlock's task force and help fight Amon. There's your headline, folks. Yeah. Manipulative. Hmm. My fellow task force deputies, according to my sources, there is a cellar underneath this bookstore where equalists train cheap locking in secret. Jeez. Yeah, she's got like straight up like PTSD almost. That's cool. Jeez. Ooh. I'm going after them. Nice. Uh oh. Ah. Nice. There you go. Nice timing. Thanks, Tarlock. We make a good team, Avatar. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> hmm. No Korra for practice again? Doesn't look like it. Avatar Korra has bravely answered the call to action. Republic City has nothing to fear from Amon and the Equalists. Question hmm. for the Avatar. Amon remains at large. Why have you failed to locate him? Because Amon is hiding in the shadows like a coward. Ooh. Amon, I challenge you to a duel. Just the two of us, tonight at midnight on Avatar Aang Memorial Island. Let's cut to the chase and settle this thing. If you're man enough to face me. Damn. I don't know why he would ever do that, but... I know it sounds weird to say this, 
But I'm really glad I hit you with my moped. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> I'm still suspicious of her, but we'll see. Why didn't you accept the new silk scarf I bought for you last week? Yes. You like it? No, it was really nice, but this scarf was my father's. Yeah. Okay. And it's all I have left of him. I just feel like, like it keeps me safe. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I lost my mother when I was very young. I feel so safe with you. <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool art style. Cora, this is madness. Don't try to stop me and don't follow me. I have to face Amon alone. This is all you're doing. Hey, why would Amon, like, yeah, I, I don't know why Amon would entertain this. He's a good fighter, we saw, but he's, like, the risk is crazy. fleet of police airships ready to swoop down. <laughs> She's like completely on edge. <laughs> Guess you're a no show, Amon. Who's scared now? You come out of the shadows. What was the episode title? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeesh. That's not good. That is not good. Mm -hmm. I received your invitation, young avatar. Uh oh. showdown while inevitable is premature hmm. although it would be the simplest thing for me to take away your bending right now I won't you'd only become a martyr and I'm saving you for last then you'll get your duel and I <laughs> will destroy you that is crazy Oh, flashback. Dang. Cora. Oh, Cora. I need to rewind that. What was that? That was like a flashback of from Aang's perspective, wasn't it? Is that no. There's Toph. Is that Aang or Tenzin? That's Aang, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What was that showing us? Cora. Cora, are you all right? Interesting. Was Amon here? Did he? Did he take your bending away? No. I'm okay. Oh, thank mm. goodness. <laughs> I was so terrified. I felt so helpless. You. <laughs> you were right. I've been scared this whole time, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Admitting your fears is the first and yeah. most difficult step in overcoming them. Damn. All right. All right, yeah, another really good episode. Yeah, Amon is a awesome villain. Really, actually, is it even a villain? Like... Yeah, I, it's, like a, it's like a great character, like I was saying in I think the first or second episode in the discussion. Yeah, yeah, he's like a great character because because ultimately what he's doing isn't like bad. Like, well, no, it's bad, but like it's for a good reason, of course. And then it's also like, um, yeah, like it's not. It doesn't actually hurt the people. Look, I mean, it takes away something that's a part of them, but yeah, yeah, that, that's hurting them. But yeah, it's for the greater good, I guess. So, hmm. Yeah, no, he—he's a—he's still a bad guy. Yeah, but yeah. So the whole, yeah, the whole uh, 
what was his name? Ar Tarlock? Arlock? Man, I'm so bad with the names in this so far. Tar Tarlock, right? Yeah, Tarlock. I think. Yeah, so yeah, Tarlock manipulates uh, Korra. Um, kind of set Korra on like a rampage out of fear and all that. Um, she's not even kind of really looking at like, like, like what, like Aang, to compare to Aang. Aang would always be looking for a way to like not cause harm and like the peaceful solution and all that. Um, and yeah, the peaceful solution would obviously be to like fix Republic City and like the Benders as a whole by like, I don't know, like making, making, getting rid of all the, all the gangs and all that and just this making sure people that bend aren't abusing their powers and stuff like i don't even know what you could do really other than like yeah i guess you maybe like like crazy stiff penalties and stuff for for abusing your your bending powers maybe that could be a resolution i don't think a mom would do it but you can make it like so if you like abuse your powers they get taken away by amon like maybe that could be an end goal i don't know probably not that amon seems to be pretty um pretty set on like just eliminating bending as a whole so i don't think that would be that core will probably try to try to do that is i guess would be a prediction for of mine try to get amon to like accept that as like a way to move forward but yeah that's i mean he doesn't seem like the type that is going to really change his mind about that um but yeah so we, we had that flashback when when Korra got knocked out. It appeared to be like a flashback to like Aang when he's like 30 or 40. We saw a Toph that might have been Zuko. I don't think it was Zuko. It might have been. might have been Zuko. Um, okay, so we saw a flashback and it looked like Aang was fighting someone. So I, I forget who they, they mentioned someone like 40 years ago that Aang had to deal with. Um, was Could that have been... Hmm. Could that maybe have been Amon's like dad or something or grandfather Pro probably not i don't think the timeline really we're in the timeline could work we don't know how old amon is yeah yeah i'm not sure what yeah but that that, that is good we saw a flashback there so that means we're gonna get more flashbacks yeah that makes sense because obviously cora is the avatar so she can like view past memories and and uh like speak to past avatars so maybe we'll get a cora ang scene shortly which would be awesome maybe yeah, get some more explanation of what happened in the in the past um yeah is there anything else that i was trying to remember to talk about um yeah yeah daniel day kim cool to hear his voice i'm glad I, I picked that up like right away really glad about that i think that must have been because deep in my memory when you when you guys mentioned that he uh he was in I, th I think when you guys mentioned he was in legend of Korra at some point i must have heard that or you guys mentioned that he plays i think he was in avatar as well for like one as like one of the voices they have like a minor character i think he was in that too yeah yeah i forgot to comment on that but yeah yeah cool glad i picked that up i'm hoping maybe there's more voice actors that i'll pick up as well that'd be, that'd be awesome um yeah what else anything predictions yes a prediction i'd have would be the the sato the sato guy i think he's gonna be evil um yeah usually like industry leaders and stuff in shows are kind of kind of evil and yeah he mentioned getting a loan when his career was beginning and that could have been from like someone bad and he's been kind of under the under their boot under their boot for forever um because of that and so that could somehow turn bad like he he sponsors them and then i don't even know what would yeah i don't know he, he gives off weird vibes same as his daughter um was it As asami 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 man i'm yeah i'm so bad with the names man i'll get the by the end of season one i'll have all the names i'll have all the names down yeah i think it, i think it was asami yeah she it's very convenient that the the daughter of like one of the richest people in the world um crashes into a like yeah a struggling pro bending uh player yeah like that's very convenient so that might be a manipulation there um Pretty much, I'm, I'm just like sus of everyone right now. <laughs> everyone seems like they could be evil. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. What? Anything else? 
Now I think that's pretty that's pretty much it. I don't really think there's too much. We got the general plot for this season. Um, yeah, really, really interested to see where it goes. Lots of potential to be like really cool. I, I love this type of uh, plot. Like, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've mentioned X Men a bunch, but it's, it's giving me like the same type of X Men storyline, which is an awesome storyline. One of my favorites of of uh, yeah, just like the oppressed versus the versus the uh, the regular, or not not the oppressed versus the or any, yeah, yeah, the humans, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's similar. It's similar. It's a cool storyline. Yeah, really excited to keep going. Um, yeah, so this this video will be up on Wednesday, and then we'll do another two on Friday. And yeah, so when would that put us on pace for? Um, yeah, there's actually there's only twelve. I just, just noticed there's only twelve episodes. For some reason, I thought there was thirteen. Okay, so there's twelve. So we can do two. Yeah, I won't have to do any single upload videos because uh, yeah, there's an even number actually. Awesome. All right. Yeah, let's just end it there. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to drop a sub, like the video if you enjoyed, and yeah, comment anything I might have missed. Um, try not to spoil anything for me if you, if, you, if possible. Um, I would prefer to be surprised, so don't don't like, don't tell me who's alive um, from the, from Avatar and stuff. Obviously, um, that'd be I'd prefer to be able to see that for myself. Um, yeah, we'll send it there. Thanks for watching.